approaching with speed, it makes a delicate but swift maneuver to then release its precious cargo in front of the small healthcare center in Ghana. This is a COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> like, for the first time we, we, we asked them to bring it, this was something, everybody was looking at it. Even though some people were saying that, uh, is, is, is it witches flying at, uh, in the afternoon? And I was saying, no, this is um, a machine called drone that deliver uh, medical equipment on time. Barely three minutes later, a second drone arrives. It drops off its package and heads straight back to its base, 80 kilometers away. It's in this small warehouse that the orders are prepared and where the drugs and vaccines are stored. So they don't have to order in excess and keep it and then perhaps risk not storing it under the right temperatures. Over here, we know that it's stored in the right temperatures. If they need a few valves, they call and then we supply it. Each delivery has a weight limit of 1.7 kilograms, with enough doses to provide 2,000 people per location. Carefully packaged and set up, the drone is then programmed with the precise GPS coordinates of the place of delivery. It costs 20 euros to send, and it's all financed directly by Ghana's government. For doctors, their usage could also prove crucial in freeing up other resources. The health service has only one vehicle, so it means that if it has to go for vaccines, it's like a full day. But we'd have spent a lot of money on fuel to go and cut these things from the cold room and from the medical stores. But once the drone picks it up, we, ha we, ha we can use the vehicle for other things. While this delivery method focuses on vaccines, its uses can be extended for multiple medical purposes. And in places where healthcare workers are too remote to reach, one quick drop-off could make the precious difference in saving lives.